At a very young age, Hank the Weird accompanied his father Pite on visits to top fanciers all over the world, whereby his fascination for pigeons was fed. It is no surprise that Hank also grew to be a great devotee of pigeons. After completing his veterinary studies, he became specialized in the medical guidance of racing pigeons. Dr. Hank de Weird has been active as a veterinary doctor specialized in the medical and athletic support of homing pigeons since 1972. He is one of the leading veterinaries in the field of homing pigeons, based on his personal history, knowledge, and experience. He traveled around the world to share his knowledge, just like his father did. Currently, a team of specialists, all of whom benefited from Hank's knowledge and many years of experience, are available at the Pigeon Clinic in Breda to provide advice to fanciers around the world about achieving the best health and condition for their pigeons. Advice is not limited to medical issues, but also touches on racing systems, feed, loft installations, mating and selection. Advice is not only dispensed at the clinic in Breda, but also at subsidiaries in Ransdal, the Netherlands, Colchester, United Kingdom, and Beijing, China. In addition, connections are made by telephone, email and social media. The result is that more than 100,000 fanciers in more than 40 countries rely on the knowledge and expertise of Dr. Hank de Weird and his team at the Pigeon Clinic in Breda. Their goal is to support all fanciers, from hobbyists to professionals, not only with medical advice, but also to help achieve their goals in the pigeon racing sport. Hank the Weird is not only a leading veterinary doctor, but also a pioneer in the development of specialized medical and complementary products for pigeons, marketed under brand name Belgica de Weird. All of these products were developed after in-house research and extensive testing, and are produced according to GMP standards. It goes without saying that all products are free of performance-enhancing drugs. The Belgica de Weird range of products is used by pigeon fanciers all over the world to great satisfaction. The list with references from successful and satisfied customers continues to grow. It is wonderful to see how many fanciers have shared their gratitude for the advice provided by Hank and his team, and the importance of Belgica de Weird products in accomplishing their goals. Inter Paloma's Loft their greatest aim was then also their greatest problem with which pigeons of exceptional top class, which also met the strict demands of the master examiner Pied de Weird. They had to go in search of proven long-distance pigeons, for pigeons which achieved top in very tough pigeon weather, for proven walkers, as Pied called them at the time. A few such musclemen enjoyed his interest pigeons which had been successful in the most difficult competitions, and which had the breeding worth that Pied the Weird had in mind. In the first instance the own knowledge of Father Pied was a great trump card, and formed a not-to-be-sneezed-at advantage, it was also their greatest setback, because almost everybody knew of Pied the Weird's reputation, and knew for certain that when he went to collect a pigeon from a loft, the fancier in question was going to lose a real top pigeon. It usually made the asking price shoot up. However, many important purchases followed. Let us limit ourselves to the absolute toppers, in other words the super breeders which have carried the name and fame of Interpolumis lofts worldwide, and which are still playing a leading role in the breeding lofts in Breda. The Oud Kruk, NL8801613 the undisputed stock father of the loft and described worldwide as the greatest breeding pigeon Jen Arden of all times. In the total auction of Jarrett van der Kruk from Steenbergen mention was made of the unique breeding characteristics of the Oud Kruk. In 1986 a son already won the 30th National St. Vincent, and in 1987 two sons, Nest Brothers, won the 6th and 8th National Barcelona in a murderous Barcelona in boiling weather and raced at walking pace, and so Pint and Dr. Hank the Weird were there directly to buy these two thugs to help build up their ideal Interpolumas breeding center, filled with long-distance pigeons. After this murderous Barcelona they didn't only buy the two Nest brothers, but also the father, Oud Kruk, the mother, Atasa, as well as the Gauden Kruk, Zwart Kruk, Roderick and the USA Kruk. The fact that these two cocks were the fastest series of two pigeons with the 36th and 43rd international against 21,545 pigeons was an extra. 
In addition to the prizes mentioned these two sons also raced AO the 51st and 106th National Barcelona and the 186th, 253rd and 301st National Propignan, coupled with the best hens, in the loft. The Oudkrok began his breeding crusade. Numerous excellent descendants from this cock were delivered all over the world. The victory march of the Oudkrok could start. Several top lofts expanded their colony with descendants of this topper from the Steenberg strain. The Gebroders Brugemann from Assendelft, Lake Hervers from Halsberg, C. de Jong from the Heen, B. Morsnowski from Krefeld, Combination Cornelissen from Breda, J. and Y. Cornelissen from Breda, Cord de Hade from Maid, one with his Barcelona Duive and the 15th National, 7th National, 21st National and the 1st National Propignan in 1997. She is also a granddaughter of the Oud Croc. This Oud Croc was an exceptional breeding pigeon. His descendants still fight to be at the top of the international pigeon sport. Samurai, NL 90002146. Winner first National Barcelona in 1994 against 7,767 pigeons as well as the second international against 26,807 pigeons. 49th National Barcelona in 1993 against 10,574 pigeons. 79th International Barcelona in 1993 against 33,146 pigeons. 119th National Barcelona in 1992 against 7,243 pigeons. 251st National St. Vincent in 1992 against 26,296 pigeons. With this, he is one of the best Barcelona racers from the 90s. This was all won in the top loft of Bram Walpit in Steenbergen. The parents of the samurai both came from Chris Musters from Steenbergen. His father is a son of the St. Vincentier, one of the best long-distance pigeons ever to have flown in the Netherlands. In the strong Zwidwistok, this cock won 14 prizes in big long-distance races such as 3rd, 7th, 9th, 13th, 24th. 32nd, and 39th against an average of 3,000 pigeons. Grandmother, the Van de Wegen de Wiven is a granddaughter of the Barcelona which won the 1st National Barcelona, 5th National Barcelona, 2nd National St. Vincent and the 10th National. Mother is the 22, her grandfather won 12 prizes in the long distance, 11th National Dax, 65th National Bergerac and the 72nd National St. Vincent. The 22 is just like the father of the samurai, a daughter of the Saint Vincentier. They angled from all corners of the world for this samurai. In the end, it was Piet and Dr. Henk the Weird who finally managed to reel in this fantastic cock for their interpolumis lofts. In the breeding lofts in Germany, by their good friend and champion racer Ugen Schneer, one thing has now become clear. Samurai produce, just like his illustrious ancestors, capital descendants when coupled with various hens. During the very tough 1999 season, despite the great losses, hardly any youngsters of the samurai were lost. It was also clear here that the Steinberg's fawn sort never disappoints. Over the last few years the descendants of this capital cock have performed especially well in the national and international races. Even in the Far East the pigeons are in demand due to their enormous perseverance. One of his best-known sons which still leaves his mark in the breeding lofts in Breda, but also in the international competitions is without doubt. These are more or less the pillars on which the modern breeding lines of the Interpolumis lofts are based for the grand distance or overnight long distance are still based on today, and in which numerous fanciers have now found reinforcements have laid their basis for top performances up to international level, in their own loft. After first building an independent and successful career in banking, Hank's daughter Nicole joined the ranks of the family business three years ago. Nicole also started to take an active interest in the pigeon racing sport with support from loft manager Greg Bacaert, and stepped into the illustrious footsteps of her father and grandfather. She was immediately successful, ranking in the national ace pigeons in 2015. Jen bred from two direct Stefan Lambrecht's pigeons at the breeding center in Breda, took 15th position in the National Ace Pigeon Championship Middle Distance Young Birds KBDB, Royal Belgian Pigeon Fanciers Federation. 
The same successful trajectory continued in 2016 with a small team of yearlings. In particular the national great middle distance races were targeted, resulting in 14th National Argent in 12,389 yearlings, 25th National Argent in 18,363 yearlings, and 50th National Chateau Roux 9,540 yearlings. The successful racing season 2016 was that Nicole and Greg also won the second national championship great middle distance yearlings KBDB. In 2021, Nicole de Weird Berkmos from Lille achieved a first national valence among the old birds. The winning pigeon Herbie with ring number BE19615053 had a flight of 700.5 km and flew an average speed of 1528.4 meters per minute. The pigeon stock of this tandem mainly consists of the 15 national and NPO winners and pigeons from various Dutch and Belgian top lofts such as Gabby van den Abel. Leo, Hermans, Stefan Lambrichts, Gaston van de Wauwer and Peter van de Merwe. Thank you for watching. Until next time.